What's up everyone? Chris P. Austin here coming at you from the Hunting Happiness Podcast. And what we're going to be getting into during this episode, whether you're driving in your car, if you're on your morning exercise, if you're winding it down in the evening, we're going to be getting into this episode, Intention Matters Most. So you should be listening to this. If you are an adult, if you're a youth, if you are a business person, if you are an athlete, if you are a teacher, if you have a corporate America job, if you are an entrepreneur, anybody who wants to increase their happiness and work on maximizing, getting to that maximized happiness level, this podcast is for you. Hunting Happiness with Chris Piazza. You can find it on all the social channels. Check out the YouTube channel. Just search Chris P. Austin. So again, getting into today's topic, we're going to be talking about intention matters most. So what do I mean when I say that intention matters most? This is what I mean. I don't want you to spend time and energy thinking about some roundabout way to try to make whatever you're doing or what's happening around you seem as what it's not. It's all about intention. The way people speak and communicate, the way people utilize their body language, the way people go about their day on a daily basis. Intention is everything. So as a human, The world is developing right now to where we have different languages, we have different styles of clothes, people have different skin color. A lot of stuff is different. Yet so many people are in search for the same thing. Everybody's in search for seeing how they can maximize their experience, how they can best go about their life and make it a worthwhile experience. Well, I'm giving you an unlock right now. An unlock to it is that intention matters most. So when we're talking about intention, this is what I mean specifically. What is your purpose and what are you trying to achieve? So we're going to jump into relationships first. If you're in a relationship, whether that be with uh, another human being who you're physically attracted to, if that be a relationship where you're at work and you're at the office and you've got to coexist, if that be a parent-child relationship, a brother-sister relationship, sister-sister, brother-brother, whatever the case, any type of relationship, Intention is the thing that we want to breed into our relationships and really take an inventory of. So an example of that would be when you're getting up in the morning, if you're in a scenario where there's mutual responsibility. So say you're in a situation where you live with a significant other or you're in a situation where you live with a friend of yours or you have a roommate situation or even neighbors uh, or roommates who happen to live with you. If it comes down to the simple conversation of who's cleaning up, who's doing the dishes, who's taking care of the laundry, who's taking out the trash, daily tasks that all of us have had to do or currently are doing at some point in time, intention. When you're going about your process of creating this system, are you looking to make it so that everybody has responsibility yet everybody has equal responsibility because that's what we're looking for. Ultimately, we're not looking to create a situation where one person is doing minimal and the other person is doing the maximum. We're not looking to create a situation where somebody feels like they're being utilized or somebody is being pushed into this realm of this is your job and while you're doing that job, I'm going to be over here doing less okay, or doing the minimum. So intention matters in a simple situation like that. What's happening around the house on a daily basis? Where else in relationships? The way that you communicate. You spend so much time with one person or you spend so much time with a group of individuals and we create this pressure-filled situation a lot of times where people are so granular okay, about what's being said. I talk to somebody at least three hours a day for 360 out of the 365 days a year. And I'm just gonna look at and carve and take inventory on exactly what they're saying. And I'm gonna find something that rubs me the wrong way. I'm gonna find something that's a problem or I'm gonna find something that could create a rift. And ultimately, what we should be looking at if we wanna maximize happiness is intention. When a person says something to us, being able to ask the question to ourselves, what is their intention? What are they trying to do? Are they trying to create happiness and cohesiveness between the two of us? Are they trying to create animosity? Are they trying to create a competition? Are they trying to create any type of situation that adds this? 
rather than this. So that's what we're looking for. When it comes to the decisions we're making, the relationships that we choose to engage in, look for the intention. Is that person or are those people or is that group, that team, is that a team, group, individual person whose intention is to add value and move forward and move upward and get to a new level, okay, and create progressiveness, okay, or is it a different situation where ultimately they're trying to pull away from the group or there is a individuality to the way that they're trying to do things or are they trying to create this separation where there's one person here and then there's five people here, right? So take a look at the intention. Rather than listening so hard to the words or looking at body language or trying to pull things out from a couple different scenarios, well, they didn't show up, so that means that they felt this way or they said these words and they said it kind of quietly, so I think that that means that they're... Let's start to dig in more to intention. And if you dig into intention, you're gonna find yourself immediately able to make gains on your happiness and on your confidence. So let's take a look at this from the business perspective. If you're a person who's in business, perhaps you're a business owner, maybe you're a person who's an employee, maybe you're a person who's on your way up the chain, maybe you're at the top of the chain, okay? Regardless of what your place in space is, intention is so crucial. There's owners out there, <clears throat> like myself, who have responsibility to make sure that a lot of people have hours, that they have a job, that they have responsibilities. And then there's a lot of people out there who are on the side of looking for responsibilities or looking for hours or looking for a way that they can grow and build or whatever the case. But everybody who's inside business has to be looking to grow for it to be successful. Everybody's got to be looking to go to a new level if you want your business to be successful. Now, where I don't want that to get confused is if you're a business owner, it would be naive of you to expect the people who work with you or the people who work for you to have the same love of your business and the same care and the same desire and drive as you do. If you're the person who owns it and you're the person who is the primary, You've got to make sure that you're the one putting in the most energy, drive, work, consistency, effort, those things. And then the people around you, those people do not get to be in a situation where they are doing nothing, of course. They don't get to be in a situation where they point the finger and say, hey, it's all on you. What you're searching for is you're searching for intention. Is there intention to be a part of something progressive? Do they see the value in your vision? Do they see the value in what you're trying to build? And that question right there starts with, are you presenting that? Are you making that clear, the values, the goal of where you're trying to get to? Are those things clear? Because there's so many of us who are complaining about our situation, whether it's in business, whether it's in relationships, we search for the greener grass elsewhere. But if you're looking at intention, if everybody's looking to be on the rise, then you can have success. It doesn't matter of people's past experiences. It doesn't matter what age or stage they are. It doesn't matter where they're coming from in life. What matters is where they are right now. Presently, what their intention is. Are you all trying to move progressively forward? Are you all trying to make the most of your situation? Or is the situation not a fit? That's ultimately what we wanna look for. So if you're a person who's in business, if you're a person who's in relationships right now, and you're really taking an inventory and looking at what do you want? Where am I? I'm trying to look at my situation and figure out what's the move for me. Is the move for me to stay in this and continue to progress and move forward? Is the move to find something different? I don't want you to go about it with this, the grass has got to be greener somewhere type of mentality. I want you to make sure that you go about it with what's the intention. If the intention is to move progressively, if the intention is to move forward, then you can have success and you can get better. If the intention is not to add value and the intention is not to have success and move forward, surround yourself with what is moving you forward, progressive, adding value that way. So I wanna make sure that we touch on you athletes as well, the people involved in coaching, the people involved in athletics, the people involved in sports, because that's such a huge thing in our culture. It's one of the three things that I say connect people, okay? Music, sports, communication. Those three things really connect people. So sports, Intention is huge. So if you're a person who's on a sports team and you're curious about how much you play or how many repetitions you get in the game or 
what your stance is or what your current position is on the team. Let's take a look at your intention. Are you intending to add value to the team or are you intending to add value to yourself? Because if you're going to play team sports, you're not going to be able to have success long term if you're just looking to add value to yourself. You can have some short term value here and there. You can have some flash in the pan value, but you're not going to have long term value if you're not looking out for the team and vice versa. When you look at the intention of the team and the leadership of the team, whether that's the head coaches, whether that's the owners, whether that's the managers, the directors, the people who are in leadership positions on the team, the captains, you want to make sure you're taking a real clear look at intention. It's not about are they saying mean stuff? Are they saying nice stuff? Are they too easy? Are they too hard? Do we condition too much? Do we not condition enough? Those things are granular. And teams have proven to be able to have success both ways. Teams have had success with classic Bobby Knight examples. Okay, One instance in Bobby Knight's career, throwing the chair onto the court. He gets typecasted one way. And people will look at uh, a Mike Krzyzewski, okay? Coach K from Duke, and they'll see this polished, buttoned up okay, way of going about things. But ultimately, I guarantee you, both of those coaches have moments where they're really nice and personable and both of those coaches have moments of frustration where they're challenged. The deal is intention. Is the intention to move forward and hit the goals stated at the beginning of the season? And that's something you can always look at and check and go through your inventory. What were the goals stated at the beginning of the season and are we moving toward that? Okay, are those goals 100% team-based? Are any of those goals individualized? These are the things that you wanna look at if you're a person who's considering a team, if you're currently a part of a team, if you're okay, making moves along with a team, it's not all about what's your current space, okay? What's your current situation on the team? What are you getting out of it? As a coach, as a player, as a parent, any of these things, you wanna make sure you're really clearly looking at intention and you're gonna be able to find happiness, you're gonna be able to be more content with what's going on if you're looking at it that way. So. That's in relationships, that's in business, that's in sports. If you listen to what I'm saying and you move forward with this ideology for the next bit of time, start thinking about intention, start looking at intention. And really, that starts with looking at your own. So as we go through this podcast, we're gonna get into my six phase process and exactly what that is, what that does for you, how that can change your life and add value. Okay, but ultimately right now, what I wanna work at is just intention. Every day when you wake up, is your intention to add value and go to a new level or is your intention to stay the same and or make excuses? Because whatever you add your intention into, that's what's gonna become. Wherever you're placing your energy, whatever, wherever you're saying you wanna go and really believing it, that's where you're gonna go. 100%, it's not other people are in control of where you end up, other people are making moves for you, other people are controlling your route, especially if you're a person paying your own bills, especially if you're a person who's taking charge in your life and putting yourself in charge, you are going to be a product of exactly what you place in front of you, exactly what your intention is, exactly what your moves are, and more than anything, exactly how you spend your time. So this week, Things that we want to add into our life, focusing on our intention and making sure that our intention is this way. And we all humans, all of us humans, we understand when we're taking things this way. We understand inherently. It's one of the pieces of being human. You have an understanding more so than any other species of how to go this way, okay? How to move it forward, how to progress the needle. So business people who are listening to this, Intention in the way that you go about adding value to your company and your employees. Employees, how are you going about adding value to the business that you're a part of? Are you looking to make everything go vertical, okay, and make moves forward? If you're a person who's in a relationship, are you looking to add value? Are you looking to grow and progress, have more understanding, okay, be able to build and connect, okay, and not just make it about you, but not just make it about them, to be able to have progressive, energy and to be able to have progressive results as a a unison. So if it's one person, if it's multiple people, if it's a whole group of people, being able to add value and go forward. And if you're a person who's involved in sports, the question is simple. 
Is it laid out? And when I say it, I mean the plan. Where are we going? Is the move laid out? And if the move is not laid out, it's time that you ask the question, what's the move? Where are we going? So that I have something concrete that I can look at and be able to make a plan progressively forward. All right, so those are the pieces for business, for relationships, for sports this week, adding the focus on intention. And the more you add focus on intention, the more you're gonna get towards this maximized happiness. So where can you find the next episode of this podcast? You're gonna go to YouTube, you're gonna type in Chris P. Austin, you can check it out on any of the podcast presenting platforms, SoundCloud or on, Apple Music, Spotify, hit it up crispyaustin.com slash podcast. That's where you can find all this information, all this value. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. Okay, make sure you drop a comment and tell me what topics you wanna get hit because I'm listening, I'm checking the comments, I'm checking the DMs. Okay, throw it out to me. Make sure this week you go on and crush that intention. I'm gonna see you next time.